What's good, Knicks fam? It's your boy CK2K. What's up with y'all? What's good, people? It is another day for another upload, and you guys have requested it, and I'm going to talk about it. No, I'm sorry, it's not the video on what I think we should do in the offseason, but I will be talking about what we need to be doing with the coaching situation. But before we even get into that, we need to check out this highlight from your favorite player's favorite player, who is also so happens to be my favorite player. <laughs> Michael B's slamming it down and almost breaking his leg against Andre Drummond. Roll the clip. Nice isolation. Clear now for Beasley. Beasley slams it down with the left hand. As in mesmerizing right there with the dunk. I gotta say, that dunk was one of those you saw it and you're like, dang. But like the reaction like settles in like way later than when it actually happened. Didn't it feel like the, the garden was like, oh. Oh, I don't know, but Bees put on a post. My man dropped 32 in that game. It is up to the Knicks management to make this decision on bringing back Michael Beasley and Trey Burke before anyone else on this current roster and before we even look at, you know, getting any other future pieces. Matter of fact, I've been looking at all these articles. We're seeing articles about Lance Thomas being frustrated because he's tired of losing. But Michael Beasley has openly said he wants to be a Nick. And I don't know about you guys, but I have openly said that I want to keep him as a Nick. I think... He is not quite the, you know, go-to guy every night any like he once was back his rookie season and back in college and all that stuff. But he is definitely a go-to guy when needed, as we've seen in the past, especially with KP back. At this point, if we have a player that wants to be on our team, you get him, especially if he is produced like he has. And the same with Trey Burke. But Trey Burke, I don't have to talk about the Trey Burke situation. But comment below what you guys think. Do we keep Michael Beasley? Let me know. I I, I think it'd be crazy for us to let him go. I, I don't. It, to me, it would make no sense to not bring him back. But as I said, this video is going to be about the coaching situation. This is a question you guys have all been asking. You guys have been wondering my opinion. Now, you know, throughout this entire season, I have been defending Jeff Hornacek. What? I have said it is too early to put him on the fire bus because I'm tired of us going through coaches like it's just, you know, like it's Starburst. You know, we going through coaches like different flavors of the week. Every year, he's been here for two years, and this is his first year where he actually got to coach in his own system. And let's not forget, we were in the playoffs up until our only star player went out. I don't know if I could blame him for that. There's a lot of other things to talk about. Jeff Hornacek, we'll talk about that a little bit in the video. But if the decision is made that we fire Jeff Hornacek, here are my two choices. Now, they're not really anything out of the ordinary because I think a lot of people are on the same page with these two choices. But I also have a few honorable mentions that I do want to mention after I talk in depth these two choices. My two choices who I think would be great fits for this team would be Sir Mark Jackson, ex-point guard for the Knicks, and David Fisdale, ex-coach of the Memphis Grizzlies as well as a champion with the Miami Heat. Now, here is my two cents on why I feel like these two would fit, because I know the general consensus is that these are the two guys anyways, but here's my two cents on why they would fit and where their problems may lie. I'm going to start with our guy, the point god himself that we had Mr. Rookie of the Year, Mark Jackson. Mark Jackson. Now, as you guys know, Mark Jackson played for the Knicks in 1987 up until 1992, and then he ended up coming back for the 01 02 season. He played for a bunch of other teams too, but we're just talking about the Knicks right now because that's all we care about. Mark Jackson got his first coaching job in 2011 for the Golden State Warriors, and then he coached up until 2014. Now, his contract actually went up until the 15th season, but they decided to fire him in that 14 off season before the 14 15 season even began, which was the last year on his contract. But up until that time, Mark Jackson had a total record of 121 and 109, 9 and 10 in the playoffs. And every time they got to the playoffs, they didn't look like they were doing much. But again, this was with very young teams. Mind you, these were young teams. This was a young Steph Curry. This was a young Klay Thompson. This was a young, crazy, all over the place Draymond Green. Now, the biggest upside about Mark Jackson as a coach is he is great at developing young players, especially at the guard position, because being a point guard, it's easier to coach your position. That's just the way you, you know you coach what you know. And I think that is what turned Steph Curry into that, you know, confident player that he is. He was able to take shots, you know, take your shot, do what you do. And they were able to, you know, just easily jump into the lap of Steve Kerr when he got the team the next year. And I mean, they so happened to do something with it that following year. The Golden State Warriors are the 2015 NBA champions. Sadly, Mark Jackson was fired in 2014 over some rumor disagreements with the front office. A lot of people were saying that he had that issue 
going into it he had issues with the front office from the get-go but it finally got to a boiling point and they finally let him go now here's how i feel like mark jackson will help us as a nick oh my gosh hey point guard situation whether it be trey burke whether it be moody a and whether it be frank nilakina whoever is starting he can still help develop frank nilakina and he can still continue to let trey burke play with that confidence that he's already playing with in a playoff atmosphere playoff contending situation like next year because i feel like we are a playoff contending team we can or maybe not contending but we are a playoff team that can at least get into the playoffs and i feel like if we were healthy we had the potential to be as high as a number four seed i mean look at the eastern conference playoff situation right now but we'll talk about that on the playoff start i want mark jackson for the sheer reason that he is good with young players in the nba and especially with point guards like a who will be a 20 21 year old point guard next season in frank nilakina and i feel like that's something that we need because obviously jeff hornacek then doesn't really seem to really believe in uh frank nilakina he might say otherwise but that's just the vibe that we all get that's why he doesn't play certain minutes and some games and wasn't closing games but was closing games and he has a great percentage when closing games but jeff hornacek wasn't playing them and blah 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 but mark jackson initially to me is my first choice in coaching but it's actually very side to side with this next guy david fisdale david fisdale is a guy i'm a huge fan of i love david fisdale when he got the job when you have guys like lebron james dwayne wade you have those kind of guys backing you yes they were a part of the miami team all together but at the same time when you have those guys that can back you and are upset when you're fired knowing that you have the potential to be a, i want them in my corner and who knows Maybe hiring him could give us potential of having LeBron James put us in his, his circle of teams to join, huh? You can't tell me you wouldn't take LeBron James on the Knicks, huh? Don't be don't be lying to me. David Fisdale started as an assistant coach for the Miami Heat at 29. 29 in the 0304 season. That means this guy has three chips. He was there for the Shaq chip, and he was there for the two LeBron Wade Heatles chip. Like, the dude knows about winning basketball games let's just be real he was then hired with the memphis grizzlies and only coached for a year and a half with a total record of 50 and 51. he coached for a year and a half and let's not forget that his first year he brought the memphis grizzlies who was very very injury plagued and brought him to the playoffs and he had the most he had a pretty good speech like this one right here you know i know pops got pedigree and i'm a young rookie but they're not gonna rook us my guys dug in that game and earned the right to be in that game and they did not even give us a chance Take that for data. I am a David Fisdale supporter 100,000%. David Fisdale turned Marc Gasol as ungrateful as he was. He turned Marc Gasol into a confident scorer. He's good with the bigs. We've seen it with you know him coaching Chris Bosh. We've seen it with the development of a Marc Gasol, of a Jermichael Green, of a freaking Deontay Davis, who is probably still on the rise. He's a young kid that a lot of people might not know about, but he is developing into a very nice player and that just tells me what could possibly happen with Chris Porzingis. Here, here's the problem with his firing though he was fired allegedly because he wanted to go younger he wanted to make the team younger by possibly trading guys like Mark uh, Marcus Saul Marcus Saul didn't like it front office chose Marcus Saul's side and boom there goes David Fisdale stupidest move of the decision because now they're the worst team in the league but hey that's neither here nor there but let me know in the comment section below what you guys think who do you think that i have missing on this list that we should bring on as coach oh wait before we even continue here are my honorable mentions for other coaches that i would be okay with us picking up rick patino is out there we know lord knows he ain't gonna get another job in college so why not give him a job in the nba he's already getting calls from other teams like the bucks and you know I think it's just the Bucks, but hey, he's getting calls. So Rick Patino, he can come back and coach the Knicks again. He was the assistant coach for us, and he coached us. Wasn't great, but he coached us regardless, so it was fine. And my favorite coach in Knicks history, coach from one of my favorite Knicks teams of all time. The man has not gotten a job since, and I do not understand because he is one of my favorite Knicks coaches of all time. If you don't know what I'm talking about by now, you better check yourself. It is Mike woodson bring back mike woodson mike woodson should not have been fired in the first place mike woodson brought the playoffs back to this team he brought veterans to this team he brought the likes of a, a, a renewed Kenyon martin he gave us a... hey jr you would never get your shot off on me you would setups too slow mike woodson come back to the team 
it's all yours man we need to give mike woodson the freaking uh the freaking john gruden treatment give him a 10 year 100 million dollar contract and just just let him just let him take it over man i need to see that goatee combo for the rest of my years as a knicks fan because the man brought us greatness and the minute he left the knicks went back to being irrelevant <clears throat> look i i almost cried myself to sleep when we fired him and brought on Derek Fisher. But let me know in the comments below who do you think we should bring on as our next head coach? Am I crazy about thinking that Mike Woodson is one of the best Knicks coaches of all time? Pat Riley aside, and I know we've had it, but but Mike Woodson deserves to be up there. He is the last person to get us in the playoffs. And before him was who? All right, that's today's trivia. Who was the last coach to get us into the playoffs before Mike Woodson? I'm done. This video is going on very long. Much love. Appreciate the support. Let's see if we can hit 2,000 by the end of this week. Shout out to you guys. I got an I'm working on that uh off-season video. It's gonna be fun. You'll see what it is. It's coming soon. Much love, you guys. Real talk. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Follow me on social medias. I'll catch you on the next one. We out. Mike Woodson, baby. Give him the world treatment. 10-year contract. Let's get him.